few years I have been reading the same question. What is the difference between RH negative and RH null? Or null in German. Or different versions of the same questions. What is the difference between O negative blood and RH null blood? First things first. O has nothing to do with RH null. Because O is part of the ABO blood group system. The only thing that we will focus on is the RH blood group system. The RH factor. The RH, no, not the RH factor, the RH blood group system. Okay? It is one of many blood group systems. We are only focused on that. So the question, what is the difference between O negative blood and RH null, is really the same one as what is the difference between being RH negative and being RH null. And the explanation is extremely simple. I may actually turn that into a meme. Being RH negative means that you test negative for the presence of the D antigen of the RH blood group system. Okay. In short, being RH negative means that you do not have the D antigen, the D. You are D negative, the D antigen from the RH blood group system. You have the RH blood group system and there are, I don't know what the number is now, of the antigens that have been discovered. Let's say it's 50. It changes all the time. They always add some and then they take them away and then they add some more. I don't know what the current number is. And I can guarantee you a lot of people don't know who should know. Um, and it's not important. There are many, there are around 50 RH antigens in your RH blood group system. If you don't have the D antigen, then you are RH negative. Being RH null means you have no antigens, no RH antigens. That means all of the antigens, all of the known antigens of the RH blood group system are missing. All of them. All 50 of them. And maybe the others that have not yet been discovered. Which is leading me to a whole new different question. But I'm going to leave you my disclaimer. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor. My name is Mike Demand. This is for entertainment purposes only. And I don't know anything. So, I can tell you more. But this is it. It is that simple. You have 50 antigens. You know, being RH negative means the D is missing. And um, I can bore you with more details. How frequent is RH null? Well, they know of less than 50 individuals, and I believe only nine are currently blood donors. But the reality is that there may be more than a thousand, statistically speaking. A lot of people are RH null, they don't even know it. So, as a consequence of RH antigen absence, RH null red blood cells also lack LW and FY5 and show weak expression of S, capital S, low, small s, and U antigens. Red blood cells lacking RH, RHAG proteins have structural abnormalities such as stomatocytosis and cell membrane defects that can result in hemolytic anemia. So anyways, I hope you guys know now how simple the answer is.